same process here. Um, now, typically, if we want to solve for y, though, that means we need to solve for t in the x equation, right? That's what we did in the last example. We solved for t in the x equation. But do you guys agree kind of solving for t in this x equation kind of looks a little difficult, right? There's more than one t. And plus one's quadratic, one's linear. So solving for t is not going to be pretty. Yeah? So is it wrong to solve for t in the y equation? Is it wrong to have an equation in terms of x? No. Right? So why don't we just go and see what that would look like? So, and this one's actually pretty easy, too. y plus 1 equals um, t. Now, if I plug that into that equation, I get x equals y plus 1 quantity squared plus 2 times, I'm sorry, not y, yeah, y plus 1. Now, we could simplify this. But hopefully you guys already kind of recognize, you know, if we want to distribute this, you do y squared plus 2y plus 1 um, plus 2y plus 2. And you can say x equals y squared plus 4y plus 3. Yeah? Does anybody know what that produces? Well, what does it look like? As far as our parent functions, what type of function, or I'm sorry, what kind of curve? We don't want to talk about functions. What kind of curve would that kind of produce? Parabola curve, right? However, if it was, if the x and y's were switched, we know it'd look like this, right? It would open it up because a is one. But now x and y's are swapped. So what do you think it's going to is it going to open up? No, it's going to open up to the. Well, think about it. what happens when we flip our x and y's. Remember when we found the inverse of functions? What happened when we flip the x and y? They reflect about the the y equals x-axis. So instead of this graph opening up, you could see that this graph is going to open to the right. You're not going to have to remember that. Um, but you should know that this is going to be a horizontal, we'll just call this a horizontal parabola. So I would, I would expect that you would understand that it is a parabola. And I would expect that you could understand that it's horizontal, not vertical. Because if it was vertical, it'd be x squared, right? Opens up or down. We're going to talk more about the openings next chapter. So for right now, I just expect you could eliminate the parameter and do that. So typically, again, the advice, guys, is to always go ahead and solve for t in the x equation, unless it becomes a little bit more difficult. And therefore, then you can write it as y. OK? All right. Now.